This is Linfield College, a small private liberal arts college in McMinnville, Oregon. Established in 1858 as a Baptist school, Linfield College has a long and interesting history. This history is provided by primary sources from the school. Pictures, documents, drawings, letters and much more are right now preserved at the archives of Linfield College. Let's take a look inside these archives and see what kind of collections it houses. What is special about the Linfield Archives? I came to the Linfield Archives because the what they have developed here is amazing as far as an archives goes. Uh, Linfield College history goes back at least 150 years. Uh, so there is exquisite primary, primary materials that date back to the 18th century. Uh, there's also something very exciting happening here, uh, started by the Linfield Center for the Northwest and has evolved into what is now the Oregon Wine History Archives. And that is new and unique because it's a college that is taking a very active position in collecting the history of Oregon agriculture and the history of the surrounding community. Um, so it's, it's nice to have a college archives that is so proactive in not only preserving its own history, but the history of its surrounding community. Historians do need primary sources for research. Because of this, the Linfield Archives preserves thousands of documents. But what specifically can we find in the archives? The Linfield Archives, it's amazing because the archives itself didn't really come into existence until about 2011, so very recent. Uh, but the collections that they have, as I've said, you know, the Linfield College Archives dates back 150 plus years, so they actually have a lot of the special collections houses, rare books um, from the Baptist ministry, the missions, um, even some of the early books produced for by Linfield. And we have, I think, at least 342 volumes that are in our special collections. Uh, from there, there's also a lot of Linfield College records. Uh, we have pretty much all the papers from the various presidents that have been here at Linfield. Uh, we also have extensive photographs that document the various activities from football uh, to the Greek events, uh, the May Queen, and of course the Good Samaritan School of Nursing collection as well. So it's for not having an archives, Lympho College has done an amazing job of at least keeping those materials that document the Lympho College legacy. Besides its own collections, the Linfield Archives also houses collections from its surrounding community. One of those collections is the Oregon Wine History Archive. What does this collection contain? Uh, the Oregon Wine History Archive is very, very new. Um, it's been in concept for at least the last couple of years, but we've actually just started these last few months collecting the original materials from the six uh, founding families for the wine in the Willamette Belt. Valley. Um, so what we have so far out of the six, we have the Susan Sockelblosser Winery Collection, Dick Erath from Erath Vineyards. We also have the Amity Collection from Myron Redford. And we also have the International Pinot Noir Celebration Records, um, which they just hit 25 years, I think it was two years ago. Um, so those are the collection materials that we have in so far. A lot of them have been um, for example, the Susan Sockelblosser, it's a lot of the business records, um, where the wine was sold, for how much, um, and it really helps to document, you know, when they first started in the early 1970s, you know, being a very local new kid on the block kind of scenario to finally making it on the East Coast, having East Coast sales to then finally going international and being able to compete with uh, France and Burgundy for their wines. So it really, those documents help to show how far they've come, the innovation that they've had, the partnerships that they formed. Um, for the six families, it was a healthy competition, but they were always there to help each other out. And those documents where you can see the various committees they served on and the legislature that they helped to pull through, um, that is what makes this collection coming in exciting for me because it really documents 
not only the wine industry, but you know, that pioneering spirit that still exists. The Linfield Archives is very proud to also house some documents from important alumni. Linfield College Archives right now has only what I consider a small portion of alumni records and it is my personal hope that it grows. Uh, one that we recently received right before my hire was the Mike Barrow collection. And Mike Barrow was a very important alumni to Linfield and a very important student. Um, from what I gather, he was very much the golden student. He was involved in football, was a real uh, athletic star for Linfield, but also involved in the class activities um, and the events around campus. So a real campus and college man. Um, it was tragic because he then went to the Vietnam War and unfortunately passed uh, while he was there. But the, the passion that he had for Linfield really still exists today and it came true to form just uh, last November when his friends and family donated the Mike Barrow study room at Nicholson Library as well as a small box of some of his papers and photographs from when he was in school to also um, some of his war memorabilia. The Linfield Archives houses a lot of important primary sources from the school itself and from its surrounding community. By the digitalization of the database this summer, it becomes easier to access this information. If you want to know more about the Linfield Archives or want to look in some of those documents for a research purpose, Please look on the library website and click on the link Archives and Special Collections for more information.